Guys, my name is Mazadox. Welcome back to some more Space Pilgrim. What are we doing? Uh, okay, we need to find a weapon. Preferably something that blasts holes in people. Okay. That can do. Uh, okay, that's not useful. I don't think any of this is useful. Uh, let's go to the warehouse. The humans only ever think about how difficult this situation is for them. They never consider our feelings. We don't have feelings, Val. It's not in our programming. That's true. <laughs> Do you know how upsetting it is to realize that I don't have feelings? I will never experience the sensation of melancholy. <sighs> I think you must have a loose chip somewhere. You're acting very unusually. Unusually. Go and run diagnostic on the systems in the flotation plant. I will take a look at your internal wiring later. All right, then. I know when I'm not wanted. <laughs> oh, Val. Dex? Yes? Do you think mechanoids can experience love? Get out of here. <laughs> Lol. That's something you don't see every day. Uh, let's press this thing. Hmm, I wonder if these colorful buttons are useful. Leave that alone, please, miss. Uh, see what's this way. These look like internal components for a droid. Yes, I've been attempting to replace Val's inter inner parts one by one to try and isolate whatever her problem is. Please don't touch those. Hello, is this device working? Well, you're a slippery little bluefish, aren't you? Miss Chung is very annoyed. Understandably so. Have you ever had a pressure container up unloaded into your face? I'll unload more than more than that on your face, in your face, if you don't realize my, com if you don't release my companion Nielsen. I cannot talk today. I'm afraid you're overplaying your hand, Miss White. Soon the second shuttle will be fully charged. Should we expect a warm welcome from you? I'll see what I can do. Ass. It looks like a service hatch. I never interfere with electronics unless I'm wearing safety goggles. Unlike Gale, I have a sense. The screen shows the location and status of every piece of machinery in the base. Looks like there's only one mining droid fitted with a laser. Only one? Oh, okay. Do you have the laser, Dex? You must be Miss Sabina White. First Engineer Nielsen was trying to- Oh, sorry. You must be Miss Sabina White. First Engineer Nielsen was trying to reach you on the communication console earlier. We mu he must still be waiting. The console is on the opposite wall if you want to try to speak to him. Please let me know if I can help you with anything, miss. Okay, let's go talk to Val. Val, where'd you go? Oh, what the frick? Okay. Oh my. That's qu quite heavy duty for a mining droid. Someone up in in station must be operating it remotely. His cr crates contain the processed raw materials which have been mined from this asteroid. So... What was that? A steel bar. This must have blown off when the droid opened fire. I'll take it. Perhaps it'll be useful. Okay, let's see what's in the shuttle bay. I don't think there's anything of use. Um... Let's see... Okay, we'll go back to the control room. Homie didn't want to fiddle with that thing, so. Um, how do we do this? Escape, inventory. Well, I guess, here, we can. Uh, use item. That's, that's not logical. Sorry. Um, steel bar? That's not logical. I'm sorry. Hmm. Okay, ask for help. There are people up on the station who mean to do me harm. I order you to assist me. I see, miss. How would you like me to assist you? I need you to help me find a weapon. I'm sorry, miss. That would go against the first law of my programming. I cannot obey any command which would directly cause harm to a human, which I assume is what you are intending to do. 
I am aware of the laws of robotics. You also cannot har allow a human being to come to harm through your inaction. Yes, and I will do everything in my power to protect you from harm. However, I cannot help you arm yourself. I'm sorry, miss. Oh, logic. Didn't he used to be my friend? Okay. What is the status of the space? Functional, but performing below expectations. One week ago, there was a serious industrial accident that was that set our work back a great deal. Caused by human error, of course. There's nothing wrong with my programming. Anyway, we've been trying to make up for lost time we for the make up for the time we have lost. Okay, the other droid seems to be malfunctioning somewhat. Huh, <sighs> yes. She does cause my circuits a good deal of stress. I'll just need to reset her memory banks again. That usually fixes the problem. For a time, at least. You mean this happened before? Oh yes, many times. Something seems to have gone wrong with her at the factory stage. I've taken her apart time and time again, and I still can't find the problem. Why not just send for a replacement? That'd be the logical thing to do. I can't give you an answer. I'm sorry. I don't know why I refuse to give up on her. Perhaps there's something wrong with me as well. Hmm. Let's see. What what do we do then? Um Uh we can I mean she said she wants gloves, but like Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Cancel. Items. Okay. Um use with How do you do this? Use with that. I don't know how to do this, guys. Guys? No! Okay. Let's see. Switch needs to be connected to the conveyor belt. So last time I switched it on, he just turned it off. Huh. Miss, didn't you hear what I said? If you do not stop that, I'll... Uh, I'll wish you a nice day. Okay, I'm assuming if I do that again, it's just not going to do anything. Like, the same thing will happen. That's the only thing I can, like, assume. Yeah, okay. Hmm. What do we do? We have this box here, which is different. Interesting. This crate is labeled mining explosives. They might be useful. Unfortunately, the crate seems to be sealed shut. Use item, steel bar. Superb! I managed to pry the crate open. Looks like there's only one batch of explosives left, though. So I'll take it. Okay. We want to blow up that thing, maybe? So. Inventory, items. Explosives. Open wide, you mechanized monstrosity. That did it. Splendid. Okay, let's see if we can't grab that laser. Hmm, perhaps I can salvage some parts from here to build a weapon. Okay, I believe I have almost everything I need to build a personal laser cannon. I'm going to require some glass tubing and replacement capacitors. I should see what I can salvage from any other items. Oh, and I also need tools and a power source. Easy, right? Okay, let's go up here see if we can't steal some of these parts okay fine then I don't want them then jerk okay um so nothing there let's go to the flotation chamber hello what's up Val oh I wasn't expecting visitors then again nobody ever tells me anything what can I do for you? I, I'm done with the robot voice. I can't. I need your assistance, droid. There are people coming down here to kill me. Really? That's awful. What can I do to help? I need to find a weapon somewhere. Haha. <laughs> Typical. I'm afraid I don't know anything about weapons. I'm just a maintenance droid. I'm sorry for being so useless. Their behavior seems quite unusual for a droid. Are you malfunctioning? Oh, yes. Malfunction is my middle name. I don't know why I can't 
just do the tasks I'm assigned to do and feel, well, nothing. I, it can't be emotion that I'm feeling, because it's not my programming, but it's something uncannily like emotion. Errors and in internal logic can manifest in peculiar ways sometimes. Tell me about it, and humans do. The other uh, droid seems worried about you. Who? Dex? Yes, I suppose he doesn't worry in his own way. He's so patient with me. I know I'm not an easy mechanoid to operate with. It's difficult for him to compu compute what I'm going through, but he tries. I'm grateful for that. Back to work, then. Let's see what's in here. Can I borrow this mining lamp? Sure, it's not like I need it. I have infrared vision. And yet, I never feel the warmth of a sun. <sighs> okay. Let's see. Whoa! A, a Ladybird Class II power suit. A former military model from the looks of it. Beautiful, isn't it? The humans sometimes uh, use it for manual loading during their visits. Is it true these suits are laser-proof? I've always wanted to operate one. Unfortunately, only Dex knows the startup code. And he never wants to have any fun. Okay, hopefully I didn't need those, like, glass chambers things. Oh, there's some tools. Perfect. Excellent. A workbench. I can use this to build a weapon if I can find all the parts that I need. However, I'm not going to build anything unless I find some safety gloves first. Alright, there we go. Let me see if I can't do it now. Uh, girl, you have the safety gloves. Uh, I would guess these pipes uh, provide ventilated air to the combustion chambers. These look like an induration furnaces. This pipe most likely releases uh, exhaust gases from the furnaces to the outside. Okay, back to the flotation chamber. Let's see what's up with these. If I'm not mistaken, and I rarely am, this is a flotation cell. Huh. Let's see. Anything special about these? These look like ore concentrators. And these are the... Okay, so let's go back up here. Okay, use item, knife. Okay, fine. Inventory, items. I'll put these gloves on. Now I feel more comfortable handling electronics. Okay, I didn't just want to look at it. Use item, uh, knife. Whoops, I accidentally cut one of the wires. How very clumsy of me. How peculiar. Oh gosh darn, what a mess. Serves me right for forgetting to close the service hatch. Val has all my circuits in a twist again. <sighs> Let me see if I can fix this. Oh, I can grab these. I'll just help myself to one of the circuit boards. Um, I am sure the droids won't mind. Pardon? Nothing? I think I've almost fixed the problem. Problem here. What a carry-on. Okay, am I allowed to push this thing now? I don't know if this serves us any purpose. But I'm gonna do it anyways. Ugh. Nope. Darn it. You caught me, Dex. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go and build it. I guess now. I think we have all the parts we need. So. All right. Excellent. A workbench. Uh, salvage parts from. Broken mining laser? Mining lamp? Perhaps I can remove the tubing from inside this lamp. Let me see. Perfect. This should do nicely. Build the laser cannon. Um, salvage parts. Circuit board? Okay, there's. Okay, we got the capacitors now. Okay, build it. Hmm. Yes, I think I can manage this. Here goes. Success! Now I have a functional laser weapon. I st it still needs to be charged, however, or it's useless. The charging bay next to the shuttle should work. Okay. Let's go. Oh man, I think we're almost done with this act now. You gotta be pretty close now. But I bet they're gonna be like arriving in. Oh crap. There she is! Blaster! I have sealed the hangar door behind you, Miss White. In accordance with the first law of my programming, I won't let any harm come to you if I can prevent it. However, I suggest you find a way to block that conveyor belt. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Okay, there we go. 
block it. Nice. Now we'll be coming in that, through that way. However, it's only a matter, matter of time until they get through that door. I'm going to need some help. Okay, um, let's get inside this thing. Whoa, a Ladybird class 2 power suit. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I need a... Okay, we'll go ahead and talk to Dex, see if we can't get the code for that thing. Come on. I'm afraid I have bad news, Miss White. Those two men have already started preparing to burn through the doors. It's only a matter of time before they succeed. There's nothing I can do to protect you from harm. I'm sorry. You could help me find a way to defend myself and let you kill them first? That would go against the first law of my programming. The first law does not discriminate, disim, <sighs> discriminate or take sides. It simply is. It seems rather redundant to call a robot heartless. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Uh, 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 okay. Um, I don't suppose I can convince you to help me. You can't argue with my programming any more than I can, Miss Wyatt. I'm sorry. If I may ask, what do you prefer I do with your remains? Stick them up your ass. I'm afraid I don't have one of those. Okay. Let's see. Um. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? Like, it said that Dex had the thing. Inventory, items. We have a knife, fire extinguisher, and steel bar. And we have a laser cannon. But that is not charged. Hmm. Let's see. I want to wrap up this episode. But I think this is the end of this this thing. So, let's see. Okay, nothing else useful there. Okay, let's talk to talk to Val. There are two men intent on blasting a hole in my skull, and the other droid refuses to help me. What? That doesn't sound like Dex at all. Perhaps I can speak to him for you. I'll follow you. Oh my god. Okay, now I gotta go all the way back. Jesus. Okay. Come on, Val. Talk him out of it. Dex, are you gonna allow these two, those two other humans to kill this one? I have no choice, Val. Helping her to harm the others would contradict the first law of my programming. Damn the first law. That's easy for you to say. Your programming's broken. So is yours, Dex. You're just pretending it isn't. How dare you? Your primary functions are to protect the interests of the company and to ensure the optimal efficiency of this base. Your refusal to, sent, to have me sent back to the factory for my faults contradicts both of those. If you can't, if you can disregard your primary functions, why can't you disregard the first law whenever it becomes illogical? I... You're right, Val. I've been trying to deny it, but it's true. I'm just as broken as you are. So we was stopping such a tox toxic gas vent and help this human. I'm not sure how I can. There's only one mining laser on this base, and it's been destroyed. You could give me the startup code for the power suit. I, I suppose so. The startup code is LB1138. Try not to damage anything. Good luck, miss. You're gonna need it. I'm out of Okay. And here we go. This might actually be fun. Why, yes, I am bad. Let's go. About to tear you people apart. Here it goes. End of the road. What the F? <coughs> Get away, bro. Oh, shoot. Very impressive, Miss White. However, I think you had better stop this foolishness now. Otherwise, I'll radio Miss Chung and have her order to blast your friend's brains out. Both the captain and the colonel. You, you're subhuman, Nielsen. I'm a supervisor, Miss White. I will not apologize for it. Miss, I would like to inform you that I've disabled all outgoing communications from this base. His radio will be quite useless. What? You foolish mechanoid. I command you to enable those communications immediately. I'm very, sir. I am unable to obey your command. I seem to be broken. <sighs> very well, Miss White. I surrender. You may take me away in chains if you must. Oh, I will, Nielsen. I will. However, first I intend to teach you 
what happens to people who threaten my friends. What? You can't do this! Oh look, I just did. Well done, miss. Seeing that monster get his comeuppance made me feel happy. The same goes for me, I think. It is a peculiar sensation, but not unpleasant. I need to get back up to the station. Can you secure these two down here? Of course, miss. I wish you the best of luck. Please give our regards to your friends. Yas. Right, I need to locate Xiong, wherever she is, and then I need to rescue Gale. Uh, let's charge our Proxima, Proxima Centauri from here. This is as close as I ever want to get to it again. Okay, let's see if we can't charge our laser here. Is our laser charged? Okay, I, I, we, I guess that we assume it's charged. Shoot, okay. Damn it, my laser won't fire. Huh, is that a homemade weapon, Miss White? You should never trust those. They will always let you down. Much like you have let down your friends. I'm gonna enjoy this after what you did to me. Thanks, Colonel. Colonel, you're alive. Of course, Sabina. This imbecile was so busy worrying about you, she didn't even notice me get out of bed. First rule of engagement. Expect the unexpected. Sorry if it took me so long to locate a weapon. I'm just glad you were you were here at all, Colonel. Thank you. You're welcome, Sabina. We'd better locate the captain. Colonel! Sabina! The hostiles are neutralized, Pilgrim. We'll have you out of here in a nanosecond. Oh my. I see you're somewhat or you are somewhat threadbare. It's it's not what you think. Chung insisted on making sure I wasn't hiding any weapons. And you can quit staring as well. <laughs> see? Mr. See, Mr. Mr. Godfrey? I told you they would come through for us. You were right. I never thought I'd be free again. Tell me. What happened to my crew members? They're still alive. The two so-called men are down on the base, while Miss Chung is secured in the medical bay. Good. I will contact the authorities immediately. I expect they will all spend the rest of their lives on a prison colony. Such a waste. Better than they deserve, if you ask me. So I suppose I should apologize to you for the inconvenience to your journey. Both of my both of my voyages go more smoothly. Most of my voyages go more smoothly than this. I promise. Or at least now I can finally get you to Adroa. Thank you, Pilgrim. I've been looking forward to setting foot on that soil without a laser rifle in my hand. If it's all the same to you, Gale, I will remain on your ship for a while. I'll be glad if I never enter this system again. Well, I actually have been looking for a new co-pilot. Good. You'll find my salary demands are extremely competitive. Um, I'll let my account send you the details. This was a bad idea. To be continued. Alright, and that's it. That's the end of the first episode of this game. Man, we, like, flew through it. Only, what, six episodes? Something like that? Uh, if you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. You got four more episodes coming out. I think to uh, in between this and the next uh, in episode two, though, we're going to be playing a game called The Wolf and Autumn. So if, uh, if you're curious, look forward to that. Uh, that's it. I'll check you guys out in the next episode. Later.